Hey everybody, it's Vanessa here and welcome to my Dyslexic Life. Today I'm going to explore why I straighten up pictures when I walk into a friend's room. If, you're, if you follow us on The Truth About Dyslexia, you'll know that Becky and I do a lot of work together. And she has all these pictures up all over her house. But some of them aren't quite straight. And every time I go into her office to work with her, I have to spend five minutes straightening all the pictures up. And I said to her one, you know, she kind of laughs because, you know, we're good friends, so she doesn't mind me doing that. And she said to me, you know, why do you straighten up the pictures? And I was like, because I can't concentrate when those things are not quite right around me. And I was like, doesn't this bother you? She's like, no, well, you know, I see they're crooked, but it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't keep, you know, it doesn't keep pulling my attention. And that was one of the things I realized, you know, because as a dyslexic, I am so visual. You know, I predominantly use the right hemisphere of my brain to process the world. And that is the visual epicenter. And I believe dyslexics are actually more aware of our surroundings than other neurotypicals. So for me, I really pick up when a picture isn't straight on the wall. And the difference is because I'm such a visual person, my attention keeps getting drawn to it. So if I go in there to work and I, and I sit down to focus, but I'm like, oh, that picture's crooked. Oh, that picture's crooked. It kind of puts me a little bit on edge and I cannot focus on what I need to do because my attention is constantly being pulled to this picture that's a little bit crooked. You know, I am such a visual person that it's these little things in the environment around me that I really react to. Another one is light. I really don't like rooms that are kind of dim or dark. I find it makes me a little bit agitated. You know, I like to have nice, bright, light rooms. And I think, you know, it's so interesting because these are the little things that we don't, until we're aware of them, we don't really understand how they're affecting us. I now understand why something that's a bit crooked or two things that aren't in a line or, you know, if um, it's a bit out of kilter, I really find that hard to deal with. And I find it hard to deal with because my visual mind is like, wah, 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 wah. it's like drawing my attention to it. For someone else, it might be a smell. For someone else, it might be, you know, like a movement. For somebody else, it could be the texture, you know, um, the way your clothes feel. And I know my dyslexic son was incredibly sensitive to this, you know, and, and I didn't realize really that comes down to him processing the world in a different way. So I just wonder, have a think about what it is for you that you find keeps drawing your attention. Is it a crooked picture or something being out of a line? Is it the light or darkness of the room? Is it how it smells? Is it sounds? You know, I know some people work better with music. Some people don't. You know, there's no right or wrong here. But I think the difference for me is when I understood why I couldn't work when a picture wasn't straight, it took away all the stress. I just went and straightened the picture and then got on with my work. You know, we explore this in our Confident Dyslexic program. And if you're interested to find out more, more about how your brain works, how your environment affects you, you know, what um, being hyper aware of your environment, what that causes, then jump on and have a look. The link is below. So now, I just go and straighten pictures whenever I go to Becky's house and work and it doesn't bother me anymore and in, in fact I think it's a bit funny. Whereas a few years ago I would have been thinking to myself, oh I'm so 
controlling or, oh my God, why do I have to worry about stuff like that? I should just be here to work and focus. And you know, that's the difference, is now that I understand how my dyslexic brain works and why these things bother me, it just doesn't stress me out anymore. So I'd be interested to know if there's things that, you, that stress you out in your environment and, and what they are, because we'll all have different things. I hope you have a good week wherever you are, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. <music>